day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to godly thoughts uh, ministries thank you so much for joining us you know it's lovely to take time to listen to the word of god if your intention by joining us was to take some time to actually listen to the word of god and learn from the word of god well thank you for doing that i'm really glad that you made this decision um, let's just learn together from god um, today we are taking our scripture reading from psalms uh, 28 verses uh, 18 to 20 jesus comes and says go ye therefore and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in my name teaching them to observe everything whatsoever i have commanded you and then he concludes with said behold i am with you even unto the end of the age so others say unto the end of the world so here we are learning from god that he wants us to go and be his witnesses he wants us to go and represent him speak the word of god to many different people now a lot of people um, struggle with this area of witnessing a lot of people struggle to witness to others because they say you know what i'm not i'm not naturally a great speaker you know naturally i i i'm not somebody who you would uh, picture speaking to other people i just you know I, it's not my thing and i want to tell you the truth that when it comes to witnessing it's not about you being naturally gifted a speaker it's about trusting god and sharing your testimony uh and um being who you are called to be in the house of god you know when we talk about witnesses witnessing we are not talking about something out of the ordinary in as much as people struggle to understand the issue of uh, witnessing i want you to understand that the way we explain it here it's really simple imagine you are traveling and then you witness an accident and you're just supposed to tell the police what you saw so before we get into this exciting topic why don't we begin by praying so that the lord helps us and that we we learn from this at least and we grow from this at least so let us go before the lord and pray father we thank you so much because of your love we thank you that you called us to be your witnesses in jerusalem in judea in many parts of the world as you said to your disciples so that your gospel your word of truth goes to all other races and all other people of the world and that they know you too as much as we have grown to know and love you we pray all things in the name of your son jesus christ amen okay let's talk about witnessing in the earlier example that i gave think about it you are on your way to town or wherever it is you usually go and um guy comes from the front slams into another car right in front of you you witnessed the whole thing the moment this happens you have two options you can either quickly walk away and not be involved or you can wait and tell the police exactly what happened because the moment you walk away you have put the other guy who has been rammed in trouble he cannot prove that this happened to him without witnesses he's gonna need witnesses to say you know this person was in the in the clear it is that other person who were rammed into them i saw it and you are willing to write what is called a signed statement because if you say for instance you know what i didn't see anything I, I i was just on my way minding my own business i didn't witness anything this guy is gonna have to fork out and pay the cost of the accident and may may end up in jail even though they are innocent because there were no witnesses sometimes your innocence is always proved by witnesses paul says many things and he says jesus came and lived among you and he performed miracles and he says you were witnesses to these things sorry that was peter he says you were witnesses to these things see the important thing about the testimony of a witness especially a person who saw it happening is that it is so powerful to the point of being a, like a second account to the occurrence now jesus wanted witnesses to go and share the things that they have experienced in life but there are some people they encounter the work of god they encounter the hand of god in their personal lives they are changed but they don't want to share what happened to them because 
they think ah well i don't want to talk about it because i'm not so much of a good um orator and i don't want to be involved i don't want to be associated with this i don't want people to think i'm too much of this or too much of that and it's a problem because if you saw it happening and you don't share it others will never benefit there are certain things that god does for us in our individual lives that if we never share with other people they will never know you know that there are certain things that god does for us individually that if you never share with another person others will never know this thing happened to you see the miracles in the middle of the night a child gets sick you decide to trust god you tell your wife we are praying we are not going to hospital i'm praying right now i know god can do something you quote the word of god you begin to pray and something happens that child is well the fever dies down in the leaf the following day they are there and then you are supposed to share with the rest of the world what happened god has just done something and for the next person to know it you will have to share the account of what happened you don't have to be a special person or an orator now i'm, I'm glad because there are many ways there are many platforms uh, whether it is social media whether it is youtube if you are better on video you just share if you are a better writer you don't even have to open your mouth you just write and you share with somebody maybe on a church group be a witness for christ when christ met you what kind of a person were you i remember the the samaritan woman um miss jesus and she is told these amazing things about who she is and jesus tells him tells her i mean that that, that he was the, the 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 water of life and anyone who drinks of that water will never thirst and she finally understands that she's talking to an anointed person of god and she runs off and witnesses you see witnessing is nothing to do with the amount of education you have now imagine this lady was a, a commercial sex worker and she was in illicit relationships she didn't have a high standing in, in the community but the story that she say she shared was so moving people came to meet and with jesus and to hear for themselves mind you at this time samaritans and judeans were not friends they were enemies they and she's telling people about their enemy how their enemy has helped them and she's thinking this person is not even supposed to be talking to us because people from judah shunned them but people came and listened to the story they did not focus on the other xenophobia or whatever it is that was happening between these two they came and told jesus we came to hear for ourselves the testimony that she gave us which means testimonies are very important as far as spreading the word of god is possible so we hear in revelations that those who overcame the world those who overcame the devil they did it by the blood of the lamb and by the testimonies of their mouth you cannot keep quiet about the good things that god is doing in your life whenever you have an opportunity and there's a friend there who is curious about about church and about god and you don't know many verses and many scriptures don't bother talking about those verses and scriptures even if you know one it's okay you can share with that one with them but most importantly what moves people are the manifest changes in your life the tangibles the things that can be seen and understood that are taking place in your life those things are more important than anything else so when you share your testimony with your brother when you share your testimony with a workmate something that you think god did in your life that is so amazing and changed you you are planting a seed of faith in that person because they know you they don't know paul they don't know peter they've never met the people in the bible some don't even believe they existed but they know you you exist when they hear the story of your turnaround especially from you they see the passion in your eyes they see the the, the passion on your face they see you speaking they are touched and they are moved and they believe what this person is saying is true i also want this witnessing is the most powerful way of bringing people to god and i pray that you don't keep the testimony of any small thing that god did in your life share with someone get that message out be one of the people who would have shared their stories about jesus and this is how the early church grow and i believe this is how this church is also going to grow the church of god thank you so much for being with us if you have got any prayer request don't hesitate to send on the numbers that appear on the screen at the beginning or the ending of this uh, chapter of this uh, sermon so god bless you and let us pray father we pray in the name of jesus christ 
there are so many wonderful things you have done for us father we pray like that you may help us lord god to witness those things and share with our brothers and sisters uh, the good things that you are doing for us the wonderful encounters that we are experiencing as we continue to pray and trust you we thank you in the name of jesus christ our lord and savior amen